Hello and welcome to your tutorial to tell you how to make a program that will calculate the sales price and tax for an item. You can see here I have the algorithm up. We declare variables for item price, sale, percent, subtotal, tax rate, taxes in total. And then it goes ahead and shows you the steps required to complete this program. First thing I'm going to do is get a different sprite to make my program a little bit more unique. I'm going to choose Cassie here. And because I'm using Cassie as my main sprite, I'm going to delete the cat. So you just right click and delete. I'm also actually going to change the size of Cassie a little bit. There we go. Going to change my backdrop to make it look a little bit more realistic. And I'll change my backdrop to clothing store. Seems appropriate. I'm going to put a title on this one as well. So to do that, put a text box on here, and I'm going to call it sales price, sale price, and tax calculator. You can play around with that, put a background behind the letters using a rectangle and things like that, but we'll leave it like that for now. So click on your sprite, and we're going to add some code now. So the first block we need under events is when the flag is clicked so that we can actually start the program and run it. Now I'm going to make it so if the user restarts the program, this is the costume that will appear for Cassie. So this is what she will be standing like. So we'll start off with Cassie A. And then you're going to be asking the user. So enter the price of your item. Now, whenever I have the ask block and wait, I always put this answer block over because you're going to need that in a second. Now we can go ahead and set a variable equal to the user answer. Now you can see when I click on data, there are no variables yet. So I'm going to declare some variables. You declare as many as you know for now. You can always add some later if you've missed one. So we need a variable for the price of the item, a variable for the percent off. You're going to ask the user for that. A variable for subtotal, a variable for tax rate, variable for taxes, after you've calculated the taxes, and a variable for the total, once you've determined what that is. So we've, entered, we've said enter the price of your item and wait. So now we can go set item price to the user answer. Now we're going to ask the user using that ask block again, what is the advertised sale and in percent? Remember, bring that answer block over. So go back to data and we will set the, oh, there you go, the sale percent to the answer. So we're going to do some calculations now. And the first calculation we're going to do is for a subtotal. So we'll go to set here. We're also going to need some operators. So we're setting the subtotal equal to what the subtotal would be. So you have to take the item price and subtract from that the item price multiplied by the percent and it's divided by 100 because we had to change it to a decimal. So we've got a few blocks to use here. So we'll put in here item price and we need to subtract from that some other things. So we're going to use a cup. It's a bit complicated. You get used to it. It's just where the where the brackets are. So if you look at our pseudocode, you can see that our subtotal is equal to the item price minus, and I've put a big bracket here. And although 
programming, any language follows the order of operations, like bed mass, it's a good idea in computer science to put extra brackets in. So that's why, just to make it more obvious to the user. So this is the actual calculation we're going to enter into Scratch. And again, it gets, it's a little complicated at first, but it, it takes some getting used to. So hopefully this will help you to understand it. So we're going to take the item price and multiply it by the sale percent divided by 100. So we've got, go to data, item price slides into there, and then you can multiply that by the sale price, which the user gave us. So let's say if it was 25%, sometimes you have to kind of, it's easier to do them separate, and then divide that by 100. So if they entered in 25 for the percent, you divide that by 100 to get decimal 25, and then you can multiply it by the item price to get how much is off. So we know how much is off based on this calculation. So we want to subtract that from the item price that the user gave us and throw it in there. So now we've got the subtotal figured out. Now, is a good idea whenever to start a program to initialize your variables? What that means is give them an initial value. So we're going to start off with um, initializing. So we'll set a whole bunch of variables here. So the first one I'm going to set the, well, you can just set the total equal to zero. And we're going to set the sale percent to zero. Just if the user tries to run the program again, you should always start off your variables as being zero unless they're constant, and I'll show you that in a second. So we're doing item price to zero. What have we got here? Subtotal to zero. Taxes to zero. And we don't want our tax rate to be zero because it's actually a constant. I'm gonna put that one at the top just to make it stand out a little bit. And our tax rate in here in Ontario is for HST, decimal one, three. So it's 13%. If you divide it by 100, you get decimal one, three, and that's what we're gonna use for our calculation. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and calculate our taxes. So to do that, we set our taxes equal to, taxes equal to, we need to multiply the subtotal by the taxes. So subtotal multiplied by the tax rate, so rather. So we've got tax rate. So we've calculated our subtotal. Now we want to multiply it by the tax rate, which is decimal one three. Throw that in there. Now we can calculate the total. So set total equal to total is always your subtotal. Oops, we need the operator there. We need the addition operator. So we need to have the total plus the taxes, which we've just calculated above. Subtotal plus the taxes is set equal to the total. And I'm going to have Cassie here think for a moment. Oops, I need to go to looks. Under looks, we'll put the hmm. So she's thinking for two seconds. And then I'm going to switch her costume so that when she tells us the answer, she looks a little bit different. So Cassie D, and if you look under costumes, you can see which one I'm going to be using, this one here. Go back to scripts. And now we're going to say a bunch of stuff. We're going to tell the user the sales price is, output the subtotal variable, and the total with taxes included is output the total variable. So to do that, we actually have to use a join operator. And we're gonna need a few of them I kind of just put things in and keep adding more join operators until I know how many I've used. So I've planned ahead a little bit. I know I need three. So the sale price is put a space in because you don't want the subtotal to output right beside that. You want to put a space just as you would in normal English. So there we go, subtotal. And then here I'm going to put a space and the total with taxes included is put a space in total. So when you join uh, strings, the, the words are called strings and the variables together, it's called the fancy word in computer science world is called concatenation. So we are joining the strings and the variables together, concatenation. So let's try running our program, see if it works. Enter the price of your item. Let's say it was $10, press enter the sales price We'll say it was 20. 
She's thinking, she outputs the answer. So let's check that. The sales price is eight because it was 20% off, which makes sense. $2 off of $10 is 20%. And the total with taxes is, so the tax rate was, a, well, the taxes um, calculated was $1.04. You can see that here and it was added to the eight. So $9.04. And you can put in a dollar sign as well over here when you're outputting the information. Great work. Good luck with that.